John James moves with his daughter Louisa and son Sam to their new house. It is a big mansion. They come out of their car. He hands the keys to Sam to open the door and asks Louisa to come out. He asks her whether she likes her new house. She looks bizarre and shows her disinterest. They go into the house and stroll into its big empty rooms. Louisa goes upstairs holding her cat, named Marmalade, in a basket. She observes the shoe prints of dry mud on the stairs and goes to the open window. She peers out of it, whereas Sam and their father look around the house. Sam informs them that the truck has approached to deliver their belongings. At the dinner table, she asks her dad about milk in Marmalade's box. He tells her that he will go to the town to pick one up. She gets up and goes to her room with Marmalade. John knocks at Louisa's door and finds her writing something. On his inquiry, she tells him that she is writing a letter to her mom to thank her for abandoning them and that she is a slut. John stops her from using such words about her mom. She tells him that he would have stopped his wife if he loved her. John leaves her room, closing the door behind him. Then he goes to Sam's room and finds him reading a storybook, lying on his bed. He appreciates him for organizing his room. Sam tells him that Louisa does not like being there. He asks whether his mother will visit the new place. John tells him, observing his drawing of their complete family, that she may visit them on Christmas. He kisses his forehead and leaves, closing the door. He calls him from behind and asks him to leave the door open a little. Louisa notices the sound of heavy breathing. She gets up from her chair and goes to the open window. She closes it and locks it. Some mysterious creature moves up on the roof of the house. The next morning, John and Sam are having their breakfast when Louisa joins in. She tells John that she could not sleep last night because the place is so empty and quiet. She looks out of the window while Sam is playing the piano. John talks to a friend on the phone and tells him that his writing project is going fine and that he will contact him in two weeks to show him his writing. Suddenly, he hears Louisa screaming. He goes to them and finds Sam holding a gun. He asks him to put it down slowly. He goes to him and pats his head. Louisa asks him to go out to explore the area, whereas John examines the gun, which is fully loaded. He calls Stuart to complain about the loaded gun. He sounds apologetic. Louisa and Sam play and run in the woods. They lie on the ground to rest for a while. Sam asks her whether their mom still loves them, to which she agrees. Then he asks her about the reason why their mom has left them alone. John digs a pit outside and buries the shotgun in it. Louisa notices something at a distance and they go to it. Then they come home and take their father along to show him the newfound thing. They find a mound there, upon which Louisa climbs. She asks Sam to come over but he refuses. John also prefers walking with Sam. At night, John wakes up upon hearing a sound. He goes out and turns the lights on. Then he opens the front door and finds the muddy shoe prints on the floor. Marmalade follows him outside and runs out. He goes after her, but she disappears mysteriously. He comes back to the house. The next morning, John goes to drop them off at school. Sam looks unhappy. On getting there, Cassandra Parker receives them. She guides Louisa about her classroom and she leaves. Then she tells Sam about his classroom and that she will teach him. Sam looks a bit hesitant, but goes in when John asks him to make a go of it. She shows her fandom for his writing. The bell rings and she says goodbye. He arrives at a store for some groceries, where he tells the accountants about his moving there. The lady named Pam wants to say something, but is stopped by the man. John insists on telling him about the place, to which the man says that it is all about local stories and rumors. Louisa is sitting on a chair in her classroom when another girl comes and asks her to stand up from her seat. She gets up, but she misbehaves with her. Sam looks sad and bored in his classroom. He listens to the teacher with the least interest. John looks around for marmalade and finds her body. He takes the kids back home. Sam tells him about his activities in the school, to which he listens with interest. Louisa gets out of the car and goes directly to her room. She throws the doll away, thinking of the girl who bullied her in the class. She goes to the window, and then goes out to the woods. She lies on the ground, closing her eyes. She hears some mysterious groaning around and gets up. John is in the kitchen where he happens to cut his finger, washing dishes. He finds the main door open and the stains of mud on the floor. He locks the door and calls Louisa. Sam is sitting in the living room. He asks him about Louisa, and goes upstairs to her room. Her room is locked. He knocks at the door and calls Louisa. She responds from the bathroom that she is in the bathtub. He asks her to come back home before it gets dark. Louisa is sitting in the bathtub all covered with mud. The shower runs on her head, flowing the mud away. The color of blood also adds to the water. At night, it is raining heavily. John wakes up, hearing the noise of the rattling of the doors. He goes to Louisa's room and finds her sleeping. He goes to the window to close it. When he returns, he finds the bed empty and Louisa standing beside him. He puts her to bed and she goes to sleep once again. He finds a doll-like object in her hand which is made of straws. He also removes the dry leaves from her curly hair and goes out, taking the object from her. He opens it up and finds a closed box inside. When he opens it, a strange insect comes out and skitters away. The next morning, Sam is taking his breakfast when Louisa comes in. Sending Sam to his room to bring his backpack, he asks Louisa about the previous night. Louisa asks about Molly, her doll. He tells her that he does not know anything about it. He shows her the doll-like object and asks about it. She tells him that she does not know about it. Sam comes in, and he hides it from him. He drops them both off at school. Louisa is standing on the stairs, staring out. 
Molly, the girl who misbehaved with her, comes there and asks her if she is hiding from her. She looks at the stairs behind Molly. John goes to Luisa's room and finds her muddy clothes there. He goes to the open window and looks out towards the mound. He goes to the mound and finds the doll Molly there. He picks it up and sees the body of a crow. He takes the doll with him. It begins raining heavily. He goes to Luisa's school, where he finds Cassandra Parker sitting with Sally. She tells him that Sally's broken her arm. John goes to see Luisa who is lying on the bed in the medical room. He carries her out to the car. In the parking lot, Cassandra tells him that teenagers change due to puberty and changing hormones. She asks him if Luisa is his adopted child. Then she hands him her home phone number to contact her whenever he wants to talk. John is preparing a meal when he sees the same strange insect on the kitchen counter. He sees it running away into the drawer. When he opens it, there he finds a number of the same insects and the straw doll. He takes them all out and burns them. Luisa is coming home in the darkness. John holds her, and they sit outside on the stairs. Suddenly, he notices some marks on the back of her neck. He asks about it, to which she gets upset and goes inside. At the dinner table, Luisa is eating her meal hurriedly. Sam and John notice her strange behavior, but say nothing to her. After dinner, John goes to his study room and searches randomly about different techniques to raise an adult child. He also explores the strange mounds there. The next day, he goes for a coffee with Cassandra and tells her about his divorce and how he is coping to raise his children. She tells him that he is a wonderful father and that he is not giving himself due credit. Luisa is removing the mud stains from the wooden floor. John is coming back into the dark woods when he sees someone moving fast in front of his car. He stops his car and goes out to find if it is Luisa out there. He calls out her name. Some strange whispering sounds can be heard in reply. Suddenly, he notices someone and runs backward in fear. He rushes to his car and gets in. When a stone hits the window, he drives home rashly and finds Luisa standing at the door. He takes her in and locks the door. Looking out from the glass, he asks her to stay at home and avoid going out. She gets irritated at this and rushes to her room. The next morning, Stuart comes to visit. He asks about the family who had been living there in that house before them and about the girl who went missing in her teenage years. Luisa takes Sam on the wooden stairs. He falls from the stairs and screams. John rushes in. He rebukes Luisa sitting in the hospital as Sam has received seven stitches. Cassandra Parker sends a lady named Mrs. Amworth to John's house. He gives her certain guidelines, such as not to let Luisa out to the mound. He instructs Sam to behave nicely and goes out. Luisa is standing at her window, looking out. She is standing topless. There appear to be some strange marks on the back of her neck. John calls Professor Evan White, and his secretary tells him about John's call. Luisa goes to the mound again, while Sam is eating the cutlets that Mrs. Amworth makes. He goes to play in his room when Luisa comes in. Her hands and shoes are all covered with mud. She asks him to play with her on the mound, but Sam refuses, saying that they are not supposed to go there. She goes out. John goes to visit a house that is all dark. He turns the torch on to make a way through the darkness. The house looks strange. He goes upstairs and enters a room. He finds an old man there, who starts to scream at him. He orders him to get out of his house. He asks him if he is Roger Wayne. He asks about his granddaughter. Roger Wayne asks him about his kids and if his daughter is changing. He tells John that Emily, his granddaughter, started changing. Sarah, her mother, locked her up when he went there. He saw her digging into the ground with her hands. He took her into the house and started the fire. At this, John gets astonished. He asks him if he had started the fire. He gets up and moves downstairs. Roger Wayne screams behind him that he had to do what Sarah could not do. He had to do even the worst things for his daughter. He tells him that taking her away can do nothing, and that he cannot stop it. Mrs. Amworth says goodnight to Sam and goes out. She finds Louisa standing by the stairs. She is all muddy, with straws and leaves in her hair. Mrs. Amworth asks her to take a bath before going to bed. She tries to remove straws from her hair, to which she reacts with anger. Louisa goes upstairs and Mrs. Amworth goes out to smoke. Suddenly, the main door closes behind her and she sees someone mysterious over there. She tries to open the door, but it gets locked. Sam hears her screams and pulls his sheet up to cover his head in fear. John tries to contact Mrs. Amworth but cannot. He rushes home and goes in, reaching the house. He calls Mrs. Amworth but finds nobody there. He calls Louisa and Sam. He tries to open Sam's door, but he has placed some heavy objects inside the door. John pushes the door using full force and succeeds in opening it. He finds Sam sitting beside his bed on the floor. He goes and embraces him. Sam tells him about the screams. They go to Louisa's room and find her sleeping there. He wakes her up and asks about Mrs. Amworth. She tells them that she does not know anything. The police come over and they are sitting in his living room. Cassandra Parker is also there. The officer investigates Louisa and Sam about the incident. They tell him the same as they have already told John. The officer leaves instructing him to stay in touch. Cassandra asks him about her staying there, but he refuses her. Louisa is standing inside. When he comes in, she asks her father about his girlfriend, Cassandra. He asks them to go to bed. Louisa sits there vomiting. He takes her to her bed and sits beside her. She asks him if he is going to leave her like her mom. He ensures her that he would never leave her. She asks him to stay with her. He observes the strange marks on her back. Sam comes there and asks him if he can sleep with him. He lies down to sleep with him. He has a nightmare about Louisa. 
He sees himself climbing up on the mound and Louisa swinging there. Suddenly, black holes appear in her eyes, and she says to him that she is his new daughter. He wakes up in fear. The next morning, he drops them off at school and requests Cassandra to keep an eye on Louisa. She asks him about Mrs. Amworth. John tells her that there is still no sign of her being found. Coming back home, he goes to Louisa's room where he finds a heap of mysterious grass, mud, and different objects. He remains shocked. He goes out and takes out the shotgun. He calls Rick and asks him to come over and demolish the mound. He receives a call from Professor Evan White, who shows his interest in his property, but he tells him that he is going to demolish the mound. The professor asks him to wait for them to come over. He goes to the mound with Rick, who has come there with a bulldozer and other essential things to get the task done. Professor Evan and his secretary come over and tell him that mounds are meant to be studied. There are some signs of ancient gods and cultures found in the mound. John does not pay heed to any such arguments and asks Rick to continue his task. When Rick starts the bulldozer, he draws out a body. John is sitting in the police station. He tells the officer that he has nothing to do with it and that he has to go and pick up his kids from school. The officer tells him that Cassandra has already taken them home and that she would stay there with them. He tells him that they would let him go by nighttime after some essential procedures. At night, the officer is going to drop him off at his house. He receives a call from the laboratory that the body seems to be of someone who had been eaten alive. They talk about the case. When the jeep stops suddenly with a jerk, he turns its light on to see the matter. They notice something crawling in the woods. Suddenly, the light turns off by itself. The officer draws his head out of the window to observe the matter. The mysterious creature appears there and drags him out of the jeep. John tries his best to hold him back, but it cannot do any good. He drives home rashly and enters the house, calling Cassandra. There is a strange silence in the house. He follows the muddy footprints to the kitchen, where he finds Cassandra bleeding out. She points towards Louisa. John rushes to Louisa and tells her that they have to leave the house, but she pulls back her hand and refuses to do so. He goes to Sam, who is sitting in a corner of the room in horror. He takes him along and draws out the shotgun. He asks Sam to sit in one corner and moves carefully. He finds the mysterious creature coming towards him. John points at him and shoots him. Suddenly, another muddy creature comes in, breaking the window. He turns and shoots it as well. He reloads the gun and comes to Sam, who is staring out in a state of fear. He asks him not to move and shoots the approaching mysterious creature. As he moves out, Sam calls him from behind and forbids him from going out. He takes Sam to his room and asks him to stay there until the police arrive. He instructs him to ask the police to call mommy. Then he embraces him and goes out, kissing his face. He goes to the mound and opens up the barrels of oil. He moves in the mound, crawling and holding his torch. There is a mysterious darkness in the mound. He finds Louisa lying unconscious there. He carries her on his shoulder and they begin to move out. Many mysterious creatures are appearing from the sides of the tunnel in the mound. He asks her to crawl out of the mound. He follows her out. Sam holds a big picture of Louisa, his daddy, and himself. He comes out holding the picture and sits on the ground at a distance. Coming out of the mound, John blocks the way out of the tunnel with the barrel. Louisa asks him not to leave her alone. Suddenly, she begins to change into that mysterious muddy creature. John looks at her for a while with grief and lights the fire. The fire begins to spread all around, burning John and Louisa as well. Sam looks at the burning fire with shock and fear. He calls for his daddy, and sobs when the same creature appears from behind him. 